Hello everybody and welcome to this video on the vocabulary for Unit 4, Age of Exploration and the Global Exchange. The first term here that we need to know is Christopher Columbus. Mr. Columbus may would end up making four different trips across the Atlantic Ocean from Spain and was determined to find a direct water route from Europe to Asia. Now, even though Columbus was working for Spain, he himself was Italian. And he's actually the person that we credited for discovering the New World and will go down as the greatest explorer from this era. And there, there is a painting of Columbus during his time. Next is Fernando Magellan, who was a Portuguese explorer who organized the Spanish expedition to the East Indies resulting in the first circumnavigation of the Earth. In other words, he was the first one to sail completely around the globe. The first one to do it. And circumnavigate means to sail or travel all the way around the world. And Fernando Magellan is the first one to document it successfully. The next one here is Prince Henry the Navigator who was a central figure in the early days of the Portuguese Empire and in the 15th century European maritime discoveries. Very much an important explorer from this period, including the exploration of the African continent. Moluccas was an island chain in present-day Indonesia called the Spice Islands. For many of these explorers, this, is what their, this was their destination. In hopes of getting to this area, to find various spices to bring back to Europe, resulting in great wealth. And speaking of wealth, our next term is mercantilism, which is the economic theory and practice common in Europe at that time that promoted government regulation of the nation's economy. So the monarchy would be heavily involved in how the economy was done. Mercantilism has since faded away, but that was the dominant economic system of this period. The next term here is colony, in which a group of people who leave their native country to form in a new land a settlement. This would be common for many of the European countries as they set out to explore new lands. For example, the United States was founded as separate colonies, beginning with Virginia, as you see here. Next term here is imperialism which is the policy of extending the rule or authority of an empire or nation over foreign countries. This would certainly be the case in the Age of Exploration. You would see it again in World War I and World War II. The next term here is epidemic. This is the widespread occurrence of an infectious disease in a community at a particular time. A lot of the Europeans were used to disease, but in many cases the natives were not, resulting in some deaths. Capitalism, an economic system in which a country's industry are controlled by private owners for profit. In many retrospects, these explorers were capitalists, looking to make and generate wealth for themselves, but also the country that they were working for. The Columbian Exchange, a series of items traded between the old and new world purposely as well as accidentally. And in many cases, both sides would benefit from that exchange. The Europeans' diet would get better as a result of many of the crops that would be introduced to them. The next one here is Bartholomew Diaz, who rode around the southern tip of Africa and opened the eastern Africa shores to the Portuguese traders in 1488, shortly before Christopher Columbus makes his voyage. Gold, God, and Glory this is also considered by many historians to be the primary motives of the European explorers, that they would seek to gain these things. Conquistadors, the Spanish adventurers who led conquest in the Americas. And many a times when you see a painting or drawing of helmets like those in this painting, that is a direct reference to the conquistadors. The Middle Passage. A voyage that would bring enslaved Africans across the Atlantic Ocean to North America and the West Indies, and many times in boats like the ones you see here. Missionaries. Religious people who tried to convert people to religion. And in many cases, many of the camps and 
uh, explorations of these explorers, there would be missionaries on board. Favorable balance of trade. An economic situation when a nation-state exports more than imports. And for all these countries, that was important. If you were exporting more than you were importing, then you were making money. Astrolab. We often see here in the age of exploration many new technologies that would be helpful in this exploration. The Astrolab was an instrument used to determine latitude. A very common tool at the period. Entrepreneur, a person who organizes and manages a business, assuming the risks for the sake of profit. And many of these explorers, you could argue, were entrepreneurs. Maritime, on, near, or living near the sea, or related to sea navigation. And maritime being a very common term used in this age of exploration. Well, that concludes this uh, video on the unit vocabulary for the age of exploration. Thank you for watching.